The spectrum of cars out there is the size of the world itself, and the only way to see them is to actually go there. And so when an opportunity to film car culture in New Zealand came up, thanks to Andy, Kaz, and Rob, the creators of Automation, we took them up on it and brought back these films. Automation is the first car company tycoon game where you can design your own cars and engines in crazy technical detail, test them, and create your own version of the perfect car company. And rather than buying banner ads, they called on us to help sell it. Without them, we wouldn't have these videos, so check out their game at automationgame.com. When planning our trip to New Zealand, we were fortunate that the automation guys had some great connections to the car culture, and I requested that we film a variety of cars, predominantly ones that are not available in the US. We found 40-year-old British coupés, 20-year-old Japanese sleeper sedans, a two-door Evo, and more. But I had one demand if we were going to fly halfway around the world. I wanted to see, hear, touch, and drive the holy grail of tuner cars. I told them to go out and find me a 1,000 horsepower R34 Skyline GTR. <laughs> 1,000 horsepower, oh yes. Well, not really, because you see, while this engine does make 1,000 horsepower in uh, racetrack trim. It was raining all morning before the shoot, and so Faisal, uh, very generously, I might add, uh, turned the boost down to only 720 wheel horsepower, which I assure you, on these New Zealand B roads, is plenty. My name is Faisal Ramzan, and this is my R34 GDR. The GDRs. The R34 especially, they came out in the year 99 to 2002 and at that time I was studying in Australia and I got really interested in this particular model. Uh, since then I've been in love and I told myself at that time that I will own a R34 GDR. Yep, finally got there and uh, ended up buying it. When I bought the car it was in pretty bad shape, shaggy outside, didn't look too good. I had a plan in mind that once I own a R34 GDR how it would look and uh, what sort of power it, uh, it would run. But this was, in terms of what I have now, it was very mild. Oh my God. Everything you ever thought could be true about an R34 Skyline, the myths of it is absolutely real. There's nothing about this car that isn't just spectacular. I mean, from the power delivery to the steering feel. I have to get around a camper. Watch how easy that is. <laughs> Just the word. I mean, the word Skyline triggers so much, you know, to an American because it's such a forbidden thing. We can't have these cars. And, he, and even in New Zealand, where they do have these cars, the GTRs are pretty rare. We've only seen two of them our whole trip. There's no cheats, no backyard stickering. This car is absolutely road legal. That was my whole aim, to be able to run a high horsepower car, uh, but have it street legal at all times, because at the end of the day, I want to be able to drive this uh, on the street legally have no issues with the cops around and be able to drive it on my holiday, uh, six, ten hour drive, wherever I wanted it to go. Just for shits and giggles, I'm just going to demonstrate something else for a minute. I know it's not what you want to see, but I can drive slow. It's refined. I can shift at 3000 RPM and cruise around. The clutch is very light, a little bit grabby from a stop, but you know, when you're talking this kind of power levels, that's sort of to be expected, but it's not heavy. And sitting here, extremely comfortable. The seats are good, steering wheel's great, visibility's great all around. I have so much information coming at me, but I can't even look at it because I just, I, I have to focus here. <laughs> and just even, even half throttle is like, engage warp drive! <laughs> That was only 7,500 RPM, it goes to nine. 
It is a cardinal sin that you can't import these into the country. Uh, now, make no mistake, this is a very high dollar car. This is not a cheap car, even though Faisal has done a bunch of the work himself. He's an engineer, he's made parts that have gone on the car that are, that are useful, that work. But nevertheless, <laughs> this is a really expensive car. Um, there's always big dollar parts that are available off the shelf that you can buy. This wasn't the case for me. Basically, if I needed to do something in the car, I needed to think it up. I needed to do the market research and see if I could come up with a better solution for it. The strut tower brace, basically uh, the Zetune model of this car, they come with this uh, strut tower and only the authentic Zetune uh, model owners uh, are able to buy this off the shelf Well, crazy amount of money. Um, I really like them, uh, the way they are made out of titanium. So I thought um, I'll come up with a solution that I could uh, uh, get built here in New Zealand. I looked at pictures of the internet. They were very basic ones from very different angles. So it was very hard to work out the proportions on the strut tower, but I managed to do it being a structural engineer by trade. Um, I catted it up uh, myself, uh, did the drawing, did the specification, um, the dimensions and everything. And uh, yeah, you see what is in front of you right now. And it looks pretty much exactly what, uh, like the original stuff. Here, look, we'll show you what nine is. Fuck. <laughs> oh man. It you know, I'm, I'm as jaded as they come. I get to drive a lot of cool cars. It takes a lot to impress me these days, but this is impressive on every level. Oh, ugh. Ugh. I feel bad about that. I really do. I'm sorry, Faz. I could not do it though. I have to go fast. Everything that has gone into the car, whether it be body mods or engine mods, I made sure that um, it worked and it did something for the car rather than it just looking pretty on the car itself. So yeah, I uh, went step by step. I knew exactly which uh, face uh, I wanted. So that uh, brought me to the Nismo uh, front bumper. Uh, then came uh, the Zetune guards, which I got off uh, Japan. And then uh, because it's not an original Zetune car, but I like the shape of the gu front guards, I custom uh, designed the um, uh, vents on them so that uh, it would be a bit different from the Zetun guards. The other aero, ma uh, aero mods on the car, uh, I think it up, uh, wind deflectors, uh, wind splitters and all that, uh, diffusers, everything. I came up with ideas. Most of them I've built at home um, just uh, every afternoon after work or when the weekends, shaping them, designing them to what I liked and what I wanted. And uh, the end result, I think, the whole car just goes together and everything works quite well. You can cover ground at unbelievable speeds in this car. It just, it's not that you don't feel it, you feel it, but the car just wants more and more and more. And this is on pump gas, just your basic premium unleaded gas that it makes all this power. And, you know, if this isn't one of or the fastest road legal car in New Zealand, I don't know what it is because I just, I can't imagine trying to drive anything faster than this on this road. You know, it, there's just enough lag when you get on the gas that it makes it fun. It's like, and go. <laughs> How do we end this, right? Where do we go? Simple. I got nine years. My new goal for the next nine years of my life is to find a way to buy one of these and make it just like this one.